Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. What does the cross represent? Are you sure? Can you find that in the Bible? He died on the cross. Yeah, if he died from a bullet to the head, we gonna walk a bullet around our neck? You know how many people died on the cross with Christ? It was sinners died with him. So how do I distinguish that cross from the one Christ died on to the one that a sinner died on? Which one do I which one do I carry? You see the confusion, Stacy? How do I distinguish that cross from the one Christ died on or from the one the sinner died on next to him? How do I know? <laughs> you never thought about that? You know what? Colossians 2 and 8. This is why we never thought about it, Stacy. We never thought about it because it's a man that's telling us that the cross represents Christ. That's not in the Bible. If it's not in the Bible, Stacy, therefore it is a what? Lie. Yeah, you know what? We were Christians, but we were in Christianity, not the religion. They're about Christianity, the religion. But, but the Israelites were followers of Christ. The Israelites were Christians. They were followers of Christ. All right? Watch this. It's the book of Colossians. Hey, hey, brother, right here. How you doing, bro? What's your name? CJ, this this brother Stacy, brother CJ. You saw the Lord brought a young man up to you to teach you, for you to teach him how to be a man. You saw the Lord work, Stacy. That's your job. Watch this. Watch this, CJ. There we go. There we go. That, hey, that's that's the Lord God. Watch this. Yeah, and no, it's a shame. How are you is CJ? How are you is Stacy? How come he got a beard but you don't? CJ, CJ, come here, you see this? Hey, hey, watch this now. CJ, when you look at his face, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna tell you, I'm real. I'm gonna be open and I'm gonna be real with y'all. Can you take him serious with no beard on his face? <laughs> and it's a young, it's a young man telling you, you see how the Lord just brought that to light, Stacy. This man, see my, my young brother CJ said, I can't take this man serious with no beard on his face. You know why? Because you are born a man with a beard on your face. You see what I'm saying? Now watch this, CJ, the master court. You see his belt? Show, show him your belt, Stacey. Break that on his belt, CJ. I'm going to ask you, and I'm going to see, now watch this, see, if his explanation of the cross is the same as yours, y'all were talk by the same man. Would you agree? I agree, yeah. Have y'all ever met each other? No. CJ, what does that cross represent? Oh! 
all day. How can we all both gave the same answer? Y'all ain't never met each other. That's what we learned. So you know what? I mean, both of y'all was taught from who? That's what the preacher preaching church. Both of y'all was taught from the same person. Watch this. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Be what? Lest any man. Any what? Lest any man. God says, be what? Lest any man, a specific man, spoil you. What does spoil mean, CJ? Huh? Huh? Spoil. Okay, what does spoil mean, Stacy? Spoil. Spoil means that you're, um, 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 you, um, it means that you get too much of stuff and you Would you drink spoiled milk? Would you drink spoiled milk? Would you eat anything that has been spoiled? No, no, no. That's the spoiler God's talking about. Bring it up. A man spoiled us. Watch this. Bring it up. Through philosophy. We are spoiled, just like milk is spoiled by going over its expiration date. God says we are spoiled by philosophy. Philosophy is a teaching of a man. Philosophy is not spiritual. Philosophy is not ordained of God. Philosophy is a teaching of a specific man. Watch this. And they deceit. They deceit. Watch this. After the tradition of men. The traditions of men. After the rudiments of the world. Watch this. And not after Christ. Watch this. Let me ask something. It says we are spoiled by the traditions of man. Uh -huh. Would y'all agree, Stacy? Is that what the Bible just said? We only read the Bible out loud. Uh -huh. Name me a tradition that's soon to happen come next Wednesday. Thanksgiving. Oh, how about you, Stacy? Thanksgiving. Bring it out. What's the history of Thanksgiving, CJ? Bring it out. Bring it out. Thank you. Thankful for what? For being, for being the number one STD rate in America? Uh, for, for being the most killed in, in America? Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what the hell are we thankful for? Right. How about you, Stacey? We thank you, I'm thankful for having food on the table. You got food on the table? That somebody... Go watch it, watch it. Somebody... Somebody... Hold on, CJ, watch this. Who put it on your table? My mama, I'm about to come out of the table. My mama... Uh, who they got it from? They got it from the store. Who owns this thing, Stacey? Bring it out. Um, several people own this. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> CJ, who owns public, CJ? A white man owns public. A white man owns public. <laughs> so you ain't saying thank God for food. What you say? I'm thankful. I'm thankful that the white man allows me to put food on my table. Y'all yeah, don't see how that goes hand in hand with the cross? That uh -huh. goes hand in hand with, with shaving your face? Uh -huh. Thanksgiving, if y'all didn't know. Hold this song right here, brother. Thanksgiving. Hey, CJ, come on over here, CJ, my young brother. I know about the Indians. You want to talk, Fred? All right, all right, watch this, watch this. White people were starving, and um, they came over here. White people were starving, they were starving. They didn't know how to do nothing. White people were starving. Okay, and what did the pilgrims do to the Indians? They killed them. And what, did they, and what day is that called today? It's Thanksgiving. Oh! So you are actually thankful for the killing of your brother. No. Bring it out! Shoot, watch this. CJ, what happened on 9 11? They cracked the, the Twin Disaster. Towers. What happened, sister? Disaster. Disaster happened. Why don't we celebrate 9 11? Who knows? Would you celebrate 9 11 if it, if it became a holiday? You'll celebrate it? No. Why not? We, we, we commemorate it because a lot of people lost their lives. A lot of people died, right? Uh -huh. So you would not celebrate it. No. You would not sit around a turkey and some cranberry sauce and some stuff. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. For this day. Right you don't do it, why? Right? Because people died that day. Right oh, that's sounding like the... No, you gotta hold it. Your brothers... Because y'all are brothers to the Native Americans. Uh, I know. I'm a so-called Native American. You don't even know that. I look just like you. We are brothers. Uh -huh. Our brothers died, were murdered, and were slaughtered. That's right. That's right. On that day, should we be celebrating? No. That's so why we do it. Bring it up. Watch this. Verse 8. Beware, lest any man spare you. Spare you. Uh -huh. Philosophy and vain deceit. After the after the tradition, 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 tradition. What did you say? Thanksgiving was Stacy. Tradition. Of men. Of who? Of who, Stacy? Of men. What man told you to celebrate Thanksgiving? The white man. 
like the white man told you that that crush represent Christ. Like the white man told you that you can walk around clean shade if you want to. Like the white man told you you can keep poor. And you shouldn't. And you shouldn't. You should celebrate Christmas. You should celebrate Christmas. You should celebrate New Year. You should celebrate your birthday. You should be keeping the Sabbath day holy. You should be eating pork. You should be eating uh, clams. You should be eating cork. You should be eating none of this stuff. I don't want to make everybody mad because that's the wrong. God is mad. Hey, I'm telling you, I can't be more mad than God because he's been dealing with us for thousands of years, the same rebellious people. So, Stacy, you can't shake your beard. You ain't supposed to be keeping Thanksgiving. You ain't supposed to be keeping a traditional man. You ain't supposed to be wearing that belt, Stacy. What are you supposed to be doing? I'm keeping a spirit. So, when are you going to start? Give me all uh, Surat chapter 5 11, I think it is. 5 7. When is as soon as possible? When, when you go to the doctor, the doctor tells you stage, you got stage 5 cancer. When do you start chemo? So God says, take my commandments and live. God says now. So who's going to pray? The doctor or God? So, so when should you start? That's his word. The book of Surat, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 5, verse 7. Bring it out! Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. What does tarrying mean? Make no room. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. What does tarrying mean? Tarrying means don't wait. God says don't wait. God says it's going to explain the same book. And put not off. Put not off. From day to day. What does that mean? That's it. Don't put it off. Don't, don't, don't wait, Stacy. Why? Why do you think God tell you don't wait? Um, because uh, the, I mean, the time is running. Running down to what? Yeah. Time is running. Yeah. And you know, Scripture says He's gonna come as a what? He's gonna come as a thief in the night. Watch this. For suddenly, for what? For suddenly, for what? For suddenly, for suddenly, shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And, and in thy security, in your security, you think you got time? In your security, you think I got time to do it tomorrow? I got time to do it after Thanksgiving? I got time to do it after Christmas? In your security, thou shalt be destroyed. God gonna kill you. So Stacy, you should start right now. That's right. So you know what you know what that means, Stacy? Uh -huh. well, why you out here? Why I'm out here? Yeah. Do it myself. So you know what that means? Uh -huh. You gotta do the opposite of what you were gonna do two, two seconds ago. That's right. That means what you gonna do two seconds ago before you just said you gonna start right now? Do the opposite. Okay. So that means you gotta do what, Stacy? Uh -huh. Do the opposite. And do what? Uh, uh, How about go home? That's right. Yeah. Bring it out. Oh, I live in Gainesville. Okay. <laughs> so you drove out here for what? I drove out here for what? Right. So you came out here to enjoy yourself uh -huh. on Memorial Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. On oh, a Sabbath. Today's a Sabbath, Stacy. That's right. You didn't know that? Um, Let's read it. Bring it out. Today's a step the Sabbath. Bring so you see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? How do you humble yourself? And, say, uh -huh. and you said you pray every morning to God. You see all the sin that you in, Stacy. Uh -huh. I just I don't even know you, Stacy, and I just called four sins out. Uh -huh. Wow. Five sins that you didn't even know. You didn't, you probably didn't know. And I understand that. Because uh -huh. at one time I was on that side just like you, Stacy. Uh -huh. I was a whoremonger. Uh -huh. I used to smoke weed. Uh -huh. I used to sell. I used to uh -huh. gangbang, fight, thoughts of murder. I did it all. Uh -huh. Prison did it all. I woke up when I heard that uh -huh. repent or die. Uh -huh. I said, down, dog, on it. I want to repent. Right. I don't want God to kill me. That's right. I don't want to be thrown in the lake of fire with my enemies. That's right. Watch this. How you doing, brother? My brother right here. I, I got to walk now. Oh, no, no, no. You're going to find out what the Sabbath day is first, Stacy. Read that. Read the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Read right now we're going over the Sabbath day, brother. Watch this. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy 
Six days? Six days. What's the first day of the week, Stace? And you a school teacher, you should know. Well, according to white man, the first day of the week is Monday. According to the truth, what's the first day of the week? I don't know what the truth is. The white man made a calendar. The white man made a calendar? This don't say Monday to the week. This say first day. So wherever you at, what where, is the first day of the week? The first day of the week is Sunday. We don't know what that is, the man made the calendar. But on your phone, the first day of the week is Sunday. Your yeah, work week, the first day of the week is Sunday. Your work week, God made the laws. Uh -huh. So the law says the first day of the week. Uh -huh. So what is the seventh day of the week? In this captivity, the seventh day of the week is Saturday. Yes, that's and this captivity, because we still in slavery, if you didn't know, Stacey, uh -huh. this captivity, the seventh day of the week, is Saturday. That's right. Right. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor. God said you got six days to labor. You got six days to do your work. That's right. And do all thy work. But the seventh day, what? the seventh day, is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. We're going over the Sabbath day, brothers. God said the seventh day is the Sabbath day. Right. Today's the Sabbath day, y'all. Right. We ain't supposed to be out here. We ain't supposed to be. Oh, you, you go by the count of the man made, Stacy. That's why you got to work on Monday. That's why you expect your check on Friday. Don't try to play me, Stacy. No, now that God's Sabbath day is on the, on the seventh day, well, that's if you go by man's calendar. You go by man's calendar. That's why they told you FAMU Classic is on Saturday. You didn't dispute that. You didn't say, see, y'all y'all FAMU Classic Rattlers, y'all go by man's calendar. Right, right. So you didn't say that. You brought your behind out here on Saturday. You see what I'm saying? I did. Ain't no tell you, you, you can't box with God, Stacy. Right. Your arms too short to box with God. Right. Right. Stacy, you gotta change, brother. That's right. If you don't change, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna die. Right. Not, not only that, Stacy, uh -huh. you're gonna be responsible for these young men dying too. Because your job is to teach them. Right. You're supposed to be teaching me, not me teaching you, Stacy. Right. I'm 29. Uh -huh. you, you almost double my age. There's no way I should be teaching you. You should be on this side telling these young men to look out for the gangs, to look out for the women, to look out for the police. You should be teaching these men how to grow up and be men. Stacy, your, your teaching don't stop at school. It's an everyday job, brother. So you got to start with your actions. You got a lot to work on, Stacy. And I pray you repent. I pray you understand. I pray you understand, Stacy. Lord's will, next time I see you, it's not when Christ throwing you in the lake of fire. Lord's will, next time I see you, it's not when Christ is throwing you into the lake of fire. But you got a chance to make your calling and election sure right now. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.